wanted to do. And I mean, we came in and did it. So I'm really proud of our guys that stepped up and really showed what we can do as a, as a team as a whole. When you, when you look at the numbers, I think one sack and, and a couple of tackles for loss, it may not look like the most disruptive outing. But I guess if you go a little bit further than that, how'd you feel like the, the guys up front played overall? Yeah, I mean, if you truly watched the game, I mean, you saw we were back there for most of the game. And I mean, we, we caused three of those interceptions to happen. I mean, Tay had a really great game with having two of those and JoJo having that first one. I mean, we really, I think we really played well up front. I mean, they had some really good running backs. I mean, there were a few times where we got caught out of our gap because we thought the running back was going to hit in. I mean, they just made a, a great cutback into our gap that we were originally supposed to be in. Or, But I mean, other than that, I mean, we, we held the line of scrimmage. I felt like we got a pretty good push. So I feel like all around our boys played pretty well. What kind of challenges does Buffalo present? Yeah, I mean they're just they're they're a lot they're gonna be better than Fordham. I mean, the way we go about it. I mean, Coach Chins has helped us a nameless, faceless opponent. I mean, it's just another week. Just do what we do. But I mean, they also have really great backs. Their offensive line's been really well, really solid. I mean, they have two returning starters. I know that. Um, as we dive in deeper, we're gonna find out more of their tendencies, more of what they like to do. So, moving on throughout the week, I think we'll get a pretty good idea of them. Nash was up here earlier. Uh, how have you kind of seen him come along um, in, in the last few months and since since spring ball? Yeah, Nash has probably made the biggest jump out of all those young guys. And it's, I mean, it's been awesome to see him progress to who he is now. I mean, when he first got here, he was just a big, stiff dude. And I mean, I, I told him, I said, you got the size, you got the strength, but now we just got to work on your athleticism. He's really honed in on that. And he's really made that jump. So. I mean, getting to see him, I, I mean, I watched the whole game, uh, the film on Sunday, yesterday. So I looked at his plays. I mean, he did his job. He did pretty good. Uh, I mean, there's always there's always something that could be better. But for hopping in your first game, he did pretty good. So I'm really proud of him. You know, we keep on hearing the emphasis about finishing that first half you know, strong and then starting the third quarter strong. But how do you do that? I mean, how, how, does, that, how does that become reality? Uh, mentality. I mean, you just got to go out there and know what's important and what's not. Uh, that for, I mean, starting off with that first half, I mean, if you, you stop them, that's like a momentum, momentum shifter. So you stop them from scoring or you, you do go out there and get a score of the momentum's on our side. And then you come out and you, I feel like that's kind of like the last big punch you need for that second half is that first drive when either you hold them to a score or from not scoring, excuse me. And then or if we're on offense, I mean, we score on that first drive. I really feel like that's a big, it just gives us the momentum we need to go out throughout the game and, and play, play the way we play.